It's going to be full speed. Way less violent when it doesn't have one of those fucking turbine fan blades on it. Check this out. This is the first EcoBlue Axofan motor that I've actually found a bad winding on. So we're going to go to resistance check. Here's a, <laughs> here's a good one. And you kind of got to not move the motor as it generates electricity. So about 6.5 ohms between pole to pole there. 6.5 ohms. 6.5 ohms. This is like the small snout one. Again, as I've said before, the motor itself is in this section, current magnet motor. So it's in this section. So on this one here, I believe I have continuity here. Thirteen point five. I thought I had less than that. Interesting. But when you go this way, sixty nine K. Thirteen point five. And then between here and here, sixty nine K. So something's wrong. And of course this is your internal protection here. And it's closed like it should be. So this one here is actually the snout section off of this motor. And I saw that one of these was open. It only reads this way. So this one here is open. And the funny thing what you know is this is open. So I found that I could get to the capacitor without even taking this off. So let's see if we get the polarity right. See the 391, the volt drop, 392. You go over to this one, open. Turn the light back on. About 390, 392. That one reads two. If I get the probe on there, good. But then we go to this one, it's dead. So either, and here's the funny thing. Those are two different uh, insulated gate bipolar transistors or what are in there. Some things use MOSFETs. This one uses the IGBT insulated gate bipolar transistor. So either both of those transistors inside this module, or just this trace is popped off the board. So I'm gonna go check it out and see what's uh, fried in this one, because maybe this one's blown a little differently. And like I said, both fuses are blown. Go back to continuity. They're open. But if I go between leg and leg on the fuse, on that side, it's dead shorted. And with the reactor out, I think we're open from this, so I don't think that's shorted. So let me cut out the MOVs. I'm just gonna read it again and see if uh, still shorted. Not the other way. Hmm. Something is fried. Interesting. Okay, this thing's ready to come apart. Took the little C-clip out. <laughs> I used to think these were pressed in on that side, but they're actually just held in with a C-clip and I had to knock that out. And this is right because of the magnets. But There's your massive permanent magnets right there, man. Strong magnets. The ECMs have the, uh, the magnets move. And, this, and of course, this is always stationary, but it's the outer hub with the magnets that move on these axial motors. We're on like an ECM. The uh, windings on the outside and the magnets are on the armature in the middle. So this is where we're going to have our short. So interesting. Yeah, it's not going to be easy to take this apart, so I'm not going to. But it looks like this aluminum through here is the whole snout to this point right here, and this is pressed on it. And I'm sure it's bonded with glue. This is not something that's going to come apart uh, without destroying it. But there's all the terminals come in. So one of those is probably just broken off in there but just wanted to kind of see how it was made so now we know okay well well so this is another 230 volt one one of those ones that i again forgot to reach down and loosen this spring-loaded deal 
to let loose the little IGBT and rectifier. So pulled it out. I'm like, oh, the MOVs are not all exploded like they were on this one. Now remember, this is the one I worked on the other day. I pulled apart and it looked really bad in here. I busted out all the MOVs and I kind of just laid it together, didn't put it all the way together and turned it on and it actually ran. It worked. It totally worked. But then I had torn the, you know, the insulator for that and it shorted when I put it back together the next time. So this one I just popped apart. It's kind of identical. And I'm like, wow, this looks pretty good in here. And those do not look exploded. And I was kind of trying to stick my meter through here to read that. I think the IGP was tested okay. But then when I just popped this plastic off here just to kind of look so I could finish checking the IGBT against the capacitors, I seen that this was obviously smoked. They uh, failed in different ways after all. But so I like a surface mount diode or something right there. It's a big one for a surface mount. It sucker really popped off of there. See, there's a blue off of the circuit board right there. Fused. That's a main runner off of oh off the rectifier. So yeah. I'll just take it that that sucker probably has a short after that and it just gave it up. I just broke out the single IGBT and the uh, rectifier, and, and they're both shorted. So I got this in diode check. And one way it's kind of still good, I believe. But dead shorted. These two are dead shorted. And when they're dead shorted, of course, they read dead shorted both ways. It's no longer a diode anymore. So a couple of them shorted and the IGBT and, and I took the tripod down, so fuck it. But these two legs are dead shorted both directions also. So as soon as one of the part failed, the other part failed and then it went back and popped the fuse finally and it gave up the ghost. So this one had a whole bunch of horrors going on with it when it failed, actually. Okay, we're in this clip. I might as well show one of these running on the 460 volt. I don't remember if I've shown that before. Let's get this on DC volts. So let's see if the 10 volts works. Pretty sure this is one I had working because I have tape on there. So 460, I had to double check. 460, 10 volts. And of course, he put <laughs> gray to orange. It's going to be full speed. way less violent when it doesn't have one of those turbine fan blades on it but this is a motor that i was able to get working before so pretty awesome but just to show you that that <laughs> voltage tripler <laughs> there does work to get the 460 volt ac <laughs> that's dc going in but that does work on those for testing